Every other year, hundreds of elite competitors assemble for one of the nation's fastest growing spectacles. A dazzling event with complex twists and turns. A competition that trims away the doubters and attracts the unshaven. It's like a car show where everybody kind of brings something different. I like the art to it and kind of find myself a little bit of an artist in that fact. It's a male pageant. If you've never seen anything like it, it's going to blow you away. This is the Great American Beard and Mustache Championship. Competitive bearding began in 1990 in Hofen, Germany, and started appearing in patches in the United States by 2003. It's a sport because you're training your beard to do things that you never imagined. You're constantly grooming and, uh, and trying to figure out to be creative and train yourself to win. And there's so many different styles of beard and facial hair, different kinds of mustaches, sideburns, people to style them up. In all, there are 22 different facial hair categories, from the Alaskan whaler and mutton chops to the Hungarian mustache and the triple point musketeer. All of them vying for the overall grand prize, best in grow. I mean, show. So who are the people who do this? Meet 47-year-old Jimmy Britton. Well, my first beard, I was about 19 or 20 years of age. After law school, about 20 years passed before I grew another one. I'm a personal injury lawyer. I don't like the typical lawyer look. Uh, I like to stand out and, and, and think outside the box and not be typical. I hate being pigeonholed. And I started getting in beard groups and seeing big beards. The most memorable one is Jeff Langham, the Langham Lion. I saw his beard and I wanted to be like that. My beard sort of gets bigger as the day goes, and you're constantly primping and checking stuff. My girlfriend styles my beard, and it takes anywhere between two and a half or three hours to do it. About four and a half, almost five hours. I do all this myself. I don't have no help. I do everything on my own. I just grew out a small mustache at first, and I was like, oh, this is really funny. Then it kicked out to this, where it's a uh, mustache kind of integrates into the sideburns, and then the sideburns make the shape. All those preparations lead to this. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to have a good time? Make some noise! Forty-five beards, representing 39 different states. A veritable who's who of the Hearst suit are ready to unfurl their facial followers. Each contestant is rated on a zero to 10 scale. Top contestants from each category advance to the final round. The facial hair has to match the category that they're in. So you're looking for a basic structure, you're looking for healthy hair, a nice shape, and something that fits the person. Doing good, man. I'm tired a little bit. It's been here, been here six hours. I think it's good and fluffed. It's continued to fluff. It's uh, shiny, doing good. I, I feel good about it. 
Attorney Jimmy Britton takes fourth in the full beard natural category. Uh, it was an endurance race, got through it, didn't place. You had to take it on the chin, but that's life. The competition concludes with the award for best in show. Your best in show, number 2017, Scott Snake Metz. Who prevails naturally by a whisker. Behind every beard, mustache, and goatee in this competition is a special bond. A bond that not even the clean cut and smooth skin could bristle at. It doesn't matter what you do for a living, who you are. There's just a lot of brotherhood and camaraderie. If you have a big beard and you meet another big bearded guy, you're gonna become buddies. 